What's better than another episode of Review Discuss Win? An RDW giving away the brand new Gamo Swarm Maxim 22, a JSB pellet sampler, and 225 Splatterburst targets times two. Don't go away. Alright guys, Gamo comes to us out of Spain. They're one of the world's oldest air gun manufacturers and this is their brand new Swarm Maxim, the industry's very first magazine fed, 10 shot repeating brake barrel air gun. Now the Swarm retails for about 200 bucks. It's available in 177 and 22. This one's a 22. It's 45 and a half inches long overall and weighs 6.6 .6 pounds to include the bundled 3 to 9 by 40 scope, the mounts, and a magazine filled with lead. Now the Swarm is chock full of Gamo goodies, and by that I mean they include or incorporate their um, Whisper Maxim Bull Barrel here, which has some internal baffling inside to help quiet the gun down. But any noise at all that may come out of this platform is going to come from Gamo's IGT, or Inert Gas Technology Piston, which is essentially like a gas ram, which would hold up the, uh, the bonnet or trunk of your car. The advantage to such replacing a coil spring in there is that it is smoother cocking, smoother shooting, quieter, longer lasting, and it, um, and it even performs well in deep cold. Right on top of the gun here is Gamo's RRR, or Recoil Reduction Rail, which reduces felt recoil to the scope by 99.9%, .9%, increasing the longevity of your scope. Moving all the way to the back of the gun here is Gamo's SWA, or Shock Wave Absorbing Butt Pad, which reduces the recoil, felt recoil to the shooter by 74%. On the very bottom of the gun here is Gamo CAT, or Custom Action Trigger, which is dual stage, uses a manual safety, and both of those stages are adjustable. But the most important part of this gun right here is Gamo's new 10X system, which is the mechanical device which feeds a pellet into the barrel each time you break it down. And if for some reason you don't want to use this, the entire system can, uh, can be removed and the magazine is very simply removed just by doing that. It's that easy. So with that, I am very excited to get to sharing and here we go. It was a full day culling pellets for the swarm, and then I finally found one that grouped well for me 10 out of 10 times. For more behind the scenes information leading up to video day, you can check AEAC out on Facebook. I shared these pictures there as I was getting to know the rifle and learning its tendencies. As promised by Gamo, the cocking stroke is very smooth and light. Wedge lockup is great too, and rewards you with a satisfying click. Obviously this motion is loading a pellet for you too, and it's completely transparent. I can't feel a thing. And best of all, my fingertips don't hurt anymore after a day of seat and pellets in the breech. And that, my friends, is worth its weight in gold. Loading the Swarm's magazine is a piece of cake, too, and nicely blends the pleasure of shooting a PCP with the simplicity of shooting a brake barrel.
The IGT gas ram's firing cycle is very smooth and lets off with a vibration-free thick. There's no twang or crunch here and felt recoil is perfectly linear with the barrel. It's quiet too, making sound output very acceptable for covert operations. And the trigger is very decent, but second stage dwell is longer than it has to be. I achieved my very best groups with a firm hold and a light shoulder and cheek, and any lapse in concentration came back and stung me. Any way you look at it, all those GMO goodies come together nicely to offer an extraordinary $200 package. Guys, the sound meter is still at home in the closet. It's just confusing way too many of you. This dual mic sound test brings you right here by creating a 3D stereo image in this area. It does it by spacing a microphone just five feet from me this way and another one 20 feet downrange that I'm gonna shoot directly over. Now the Swarm Maxim isn't a loud gun and this is exactly what it sounds like. The more I experiment with lead-free alloy, the more I like it. These field target trophy greens were my number two for this gun, but yours may prefer different, so you've got to experiment. Something also worth noting is that while they weigh a mere 10 grains, they're also generating near 19 foot-pounds of energy out of this platform. Another advantage to lead-free is their harder alloy. Their skirts are rarely if ever deformed, and this makes for a very true flying pellet. Their lighter weight will also flatten trajectory and can sometimes bring velocity up into a range that will maximize accuracy. Bottom line is that the more I experiment with them, the more guns I find like them. And for our friend Mr. Swarm here, they were one out of two out of a giant pile that it consistently liked.
Gamo's custom action trigger is pretty decent and its manual safety is easily pushed around with one finger. First stage take up is super light, but it comes up against a hard stop. And before it'll let off for you, you gotta work through quite a bit of second stage roll. Three pounds, nine tenths of an ounce. Still pretty good. Woo, it's windy. Well, that's all for today, guys. From here, you'll want to head on over to the Air Gun Nation forum and make sure you get enrolled in the lottery to win one of the two Gamo Swarm Maxims, one of the JSB sampler packs, and one of the Splatter Burst sampler packs. I'll leave you a link in the description down below so you know how to get there. As for me, please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends about us, and be sure to check us out on Facebook for behind the scenes pictures and information leading up to video day. A special thank you also goes out to JSB Predator International, Air Gun Depot, Splatter Burst Targets, and H&N Pellets for making this episode possible. And you guys know the best way to thank them. So with that, I'm Steve Shally. I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you again real soon.